Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Airtable for recruiting. So the first thing you want to do is when you're going to be in Airtable, I will just delete this space. You want to click on the templates when you're going to be in workspaces. Right here, you are going to find an HR and recruiting on the categories on the left side. Click on it. And here you're going to find an employee onboarding, a university recruiting, and you just have to find here recruiting here or what you can do is just right here and search simple applicant tracker right so this is something you can use and also the interview questions so combine these two it's pretty great so click here on simple applicant tracker and use template Now I'm going to add it to base, like add it to my workspace. And here we are. So what you can actually find here and how it actually works. So I'm going to show you around. So here you can have three, three tables, applicants, positions, and interviews. When you're gonna click on applicants, you're gonna have uh, these views here. So you're gonna have an all applicants, you're gonna find always a stage, no hire, interviewing, decision needed, hire. Then an applying for, for what they are actually ap applying for. Now this is uh, the link to a record of position of lead mascot and con concessions mascot. Then you can have the email address, a phone number, phone interview, phone interview did by who. These are the interviewers. phone interview score, then you choose like, okay, how well they were actually doing. And when we go further, you're gonna have a phone interview notes, good analytic skills, questionable. Then you're gonna have the on-site interviewer and then again, on-site interview score and the notes. So this is pretty straightforward what you can do here. Now, when you're gonna click here further on all applicants, you're gonna have the resumes resumes and interviewers. So this is just the data of phone interview and on-site interview. Contact info uh, that if you want to contact them, lead mascot or like for what uh, roles they're applying for. And then you're going to have tomorrow on site like who is going to be for tomorrow. So this is pretty much it, how you can have it. Now, when we go further, you're gonna find the positions. In positions, you can simply add a position, which is going to get called, let's say, um, YouTube position. Then you're gonna have description for the position. So I can simply add here, um, new employee will be creating videos. And then you're going to find the required experience and then you can have the applying for position. It's going to be directly connected. So if I'm going to have a new person here, which is going to be called Marcus Stone, and I'm going to choose the on-site, not on-site interviewer, but applying for, let's say, uh, not this, but for you to position, I'm going to click on positions here and here, look what will happen right now. I have the implying for applying for position, the Marcus stone here only because it's directly linked together. Now, when I go to interviewers, interviewers is, um, like a name and the Ari Karina phone interviews on-site interviews with who and it's also directly linked. Now this is a simple applicant tracker. If you're going to have a lot of people trying to like get in you know, interviews, etc., it's going to be a little bit difficult. So if you want me to get, I can make it even more complex and I can create a whole air table uh, by myself. And when I'm going to finish with it, it will be amazing. So when we go further, 
this is the one of those I wanted to show you. But another one that I want to show you is recruiting. I want to show the interview questions and also the applicant tracking system. So these, these three are really great. So interview question, let's see. What do you can actually find here? So you would have a questions here that you can like add to people. And what you can do is simple. So I'm going to show you a trick. You can like have it like here. So I have only interview questions here. And what I can do is look at this. I can share the view, create a shareable grid view. Allow data in this view to be synced to other bases. Sync this view to another base. And here I'm going to choose the base of simple applicant tracker, create a table. What will happen that I'm going to copy the data that I will have this whole template also in my simple tracker recruiting, create a table. So you can even combine the templates here. So that's pretty cool. So I have also the all questions here and I can easily share it, right? So I can share the all questions, all type and also you can have a submit a new question. So this is how you can have also um, your the interview questions. And you can have it linked to. And the last one that I want to show you as a template, guys. I know this is a pretty fast video, but you will understand everything after watching this. You can have the applicant tracking system. Click on it. Use template. Okay, add a base. And when I am right now here, here I got it. And this is really similar that you're going to have the applicants, but this is a little bit more complex. So you write here the stage of interviewing. Then what do you want to work with us? Email address, phone number, phone interview, everything here. Then you can have the contact information about every single candidate. Resumes, where you have a, a list of resumes they send you. Applicant stage tracker. So interviewing decision needed and you can like really edit this. And then this is also much better in my opinion comparing to the past one because you can have the, also the phone interviewing schedule and on-site interviewing schedule. And then you have like people of Jules view by a hiring manager. Now what I, what they can here, look at this. Uh, they can fill the form here. And this is really great to have a form directly in Airtable that people can fill out. So they would like fill out the application, they can fill it out, and then automatically when they're going to fill it out, you will have it in all applicants. So that's really effective. Then you're going to find a new applicant box. And then positions. And this is the same thing that we have in the positions as description here experience and applying for position. This is directly connected to the applicants. And then you're going to find also the interviews here. So you can add yourself there. So this is pretty much it. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments. This is a fast introduction to the HR and how we can use it. Now, I believe it's pretty straightforward what you can do here. Definitely use the, the form that people can fill out and then you would have everything directly here. Like the applicant tracking system, this one, in my opinion, is much more effective comparing to the last one that I was showing you. So I would recommend using this one and just like then playing around with it how much you want it. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hope you are going to have a great day. This was a recruitment tutorial for Airtable. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.